Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another video, and you guys might be wondering, aren't you wearing the same shirt in the last from the last video? And yes, I am, since I'm filming it on the same day, just posting it a different day so I can edit. And today I'm going to be doing a how to care for a ball python, and this is for any morph. And yeah, you could keep a female or a male in this, and I'm showing you two different ways. And yeah, so let's get into it okay. now. Now, right now, I'm gonna be so showing you my fun sis. Um, it's kind of a pain to open up her cage. But I guess I just did it. I don't know how. But yeah, this is him. It's a male. Banana, pastel, enchi, ball python. And he's really cool. His name is Apollo Creed. There's my dog, Roscoe. <whistles> sit. Watch this trick. Well, it's not really a trick, but Roscoe, sit. Good boy. Okay, let's get back into the video. I'm getting off topic. Um, for the bottom, you can use Zoomed's forest floor. You can use... Pretty much anything, but I think I have in this cage particularly, um, like, crushed, or, I don't know, like, coconut shavings or something. I honestly don't know, but, yeah. They don't really burrow, so you don't really need anything fancy. In here, I just have a 100-watt red bulb for all of my snakes because not... How do I explain this? They all need the same heat. I don't care if it's an adult or baby. They need the same heat. There's a huge water dish for him so he can soak in it. He has a reptile half log in right there. And I have two thermometers. One's right there. And the other one, you can see the probe right there. And it's connecting all the way up this cord, going up, and it's one of the, I think it's a Zoomed Reptimometer. And yeah, this is what I have for this particular snake. Um, I'll show you my other ball python and how she's shut up, set up, excuse me, for the, to show you how you can set it up differently. And yeah, I'll meet you in my little oh, room fast. Okay, she's pretty active right now. Um, I have her with a 100 watt moonlight bulb in this mini deep dome. I have a towel over her cage to help keep up the humidity since she was shedding. Um, and to help keep up the heat. And in here, I just have the same, um, I think it was the coconut shavings or whatever, mixed in with the Zoomed Forest Floor. This is my Pastel Mystic Ball Python. She's still kind of shedding. So yeah, she has her thermometer right there. I'll get a closer look. And yeah, let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, so it's just about 90 degrees. And she has this little hide right here. It was eight bucks. I really recommend it. And she has this nice water bowl right here. I cleaned her tank yesterday and she's pretty messy. Not all ball pythons are like this. She's just shedding. So, yeah, they're really not hard to take care of. You just want a basking, a heat spot around 95 to 100 degrees. And let's show the second caging starting -na -na -na. now. The reveal. I got a rack system. And it's made, so it's extra cheap. It's not, not everything's in it. Like, as you can see, I'm getting off topic, but I have my hognose, porky. My female western hognose right there. And this is my little brother's spider ball python. So he is a little male. Right here. And this is the second way to keep to keep him in, in a rack system. Now you guys might be hating me and saying they have no heat source. Joke's on you, they actually do. Hey Ryan. But if I take out one of the babies, see these two cords right here? They're probably about 100 degrees each, so that's keeping them nice and warm, and they feel regular by going warmer to the back, cooler to the front. 
And right here, as you can see, I just have an 8 ounce deli cup for the water bin, for their little water dish, right here. Paper towel on the bottom, and of course, the ball python. So yeah, I'm going to show you one more ball python. I know it's annoying, but this is the last one that I have here at my dad's house. So yeah, and there we go. Now, I'm in my little brother's room for this last one. He's in a forest floor with a snake aspen bottom. He has just this deep dome with a 100 watt red bulb and it's 20 gallon long. All of my snakes that you've seen are in 20 gallon longs besides the rack system. And the last time I held him, he bit me. This is an adult male normal or wild type, you can call them. And he just went through his shed. He keeps getting caught on his plant. So let me try to untangle him right here, so there. So yeah, this is him. This is as big as a normal will get. So I would recommend a normal if you want a smaller snake. And yeah, females get about four to four and a half feet usually with me. And my adult female, my biggest adult female is about three, three and a half pounds to give you a perfect measurement. And yes, this male is a perfect stud. I've tried to breed him, but it hasn't worked. And there's just a little vision of the cage while I unwrap him and put him back. There he goes, right back in. And yeah, so that's kind of how I would keep them 20 gallon long, no matter how old they are. Um, please make sure that there's things to keep them safe, like, so they can't push it out. Like, you could either have a slide in, with the clips in the back, or even better, have these little pins that you just place right here. There's two on each side. Make sure that they have, it's pretty simple, just have one hide, water dish, if you want to a plant, and some of them I have a piece of bark. And yeah, please don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, comment down below what was your favorite part of the video, what I should do next, and how your day is going today. And I promise you guys, I'll see you next time.